Hi, this is KB and this is the Moon Phase Report for the Full Moon on March 27, 2013. This is the reading for Aries. Okay, so this is your birthday time right now. And this is, um, this is just like, uh, right now there's going to be this element of you seeing things through other partnerships or through other people that are going to kind of inspire you to make changes about how other people see you or how you've kind of thought of yourself. So there's definitely going to be an element of something coming from other people um, and situations that you had with other people that's really going to make you kind of... Um, kind of feel more passionate about life and being yourself and being who you are. There's um, lots of things changing with Aries as to that person that they're showing the world. And I've talked a little bit about that with Aries there, you know, just kind of coming much more to that middle ground of understanding other people and really like becoming more um, focused or at least as much focused on the other as they are on themselves. You know, I was with my friend and I was talking to her about her dog who's an Aries too, but it's like once you understand this, you know how to work with it because it's not a bad thing. Being Aries is very much about the baby and wanting things their way. They just naturally do. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it is something that you have to learn how to work with. Otherwise, you could just, if you don't understand this, you could think something's wrong with that person or with that dog in this instance. Because he just has to be first. He has to be, if anyone else is getting love, he's got to get in there. He wants it too, but me, but me, but me. You know, but I think it's cute because I understand it now. So I could be frustrated and be like, come on, dude, step back, you know. This dog's getting the love. You wait. <laughs> but understanding what it is. But still, like, you are just losing part of that, though. You know, you are becoming more focused on other people. And it can be through some things that are happening that are kind of jolting your life into seeing things in a different way. And had these things not happened, you might have still kept going on as you had. But some surprising and out of the blue and things are happening but they're ultimately kind of working in a way to put a mirror up to you so you can see um, how other people see you you know and you're just gonna be kind of wanting to have that be as honorable as it's gonna be important to you how other people see you um, you're gonna think about that you know wanting to be this kind of someone who is a um, someone to follow, you know, someone who's a good example, um, someone who walks a right action path, you know, someone who walks their talk, something like that. So, this full moon is very deeply transformative, and it's going to be so. It, it's funny because I do know some Aries that are going through. Uh, deaths right now because there is this big trans transformation that's also in the public's eyes so it can very well relate to your career um, how other people see you your relationships with others all those things can come into play but it can also be that you have suddenly been put up front and center in the public's eye and that's making you more aware of how other people see you and what they think of you. And the only reason I said death is because um, Pluto is coming in on this and it's kind of almost like parts of you are dying. Um, but that only means that there's a rebirth that's set. So it is a beautiful thing but it can feel kind of painful of like not even knowing who you are or what's going on or you know, but ultimately it's awakening you to um, finding more value in life and with yourself and, you know, kind of trying to be the highest example that you can of who you're here to be. So those can be some things going on. And also, you know, 
it just feels like there's something family oriented that you're going through so it's it's very it's a lot of layers of complexity in a way um, but you are there can very well be something that is going on on the home front something with your childhood you could really be like reliving memories from your childhood reliving memories from the past um, and these things are happening to kind of like make amends and make peace with people and fix any rifts you've had like more than ever right now you'll be very much about how you can make something better with others and you know so much with that fighting energy uh, we are like that now where we want to do everything we can to bring the peace and to not be fighting and how fun is it to fight with somebody what kind of good energy exchange is that but even if you can just like make the peace and say your words and get your point across they might not necessarily take it and change an inch but as long as you've like really done everything you can to apologize or whatever or just like try to make it right it's a whole different other category of whether they will or will not but you still kinda have to do this for your own conscience and um, just to be like okay I've done everything I can and then I can give it up and bury it and let it go but so something very well is on the home front um, as the place that is providing the most learning um, of what you're needing to see and what is kind of changing you, rocking you to the core of course. I mean it is something heavy duty, it's not lightweight. You know this full moon is super super heavy duty <laughs> and I, I thought it was going to be really light, I know I didn't think lightweight because that's not a reality but I thought it was going to be something that was very beneficial and it will it is just that there's a job to do first and it might not be a job you really want to do but you're gonna know in your heart you have to do it and by you doing it everything's gonna change so I tell everybody whatever's really painful and bringing up things in you is just an indicator of attention is needed here and there's something beneath the surface with it because none of us are having things that are just blatant at all <laughs> it's like oh you know it'll be something that might be painful and then you'll think, oh my god, what am I going to do? This is the most horrible thing ever. But then like you go a couple layers down into it and there's going to be more and more clarity. And as you keep digging and going deeper, it's going to be more like, oh, oh, this is in fact wonderful, you know? Oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, a little while ago I was thinking this is so horrible. This is fine. This is great. So it's really, there's several jobs with the energies going on right now with that and um, so do especially you know look for relationships to learn about yourself right now and really like see through their eyes see how they see you see what they're coming coming from try to just much more there's gonna be a lot of love and softness in relationships with others right now and a really kind of sweet sharing that's gonna open your heart in such a way that I mean you're just gonna be altered like you'll probably just say like this time changed you for good you know and it can even you know really be bringing inspirational things um, of how you do want to change and better your life so it's it's really far out and good um, so okay um, with this one aspect I'm very excited to talk about it's with Saturn and Pluto and the midpoint is 11 degrees Sagittarius is where they meet at in the middle where they come to a middle ground to find a comfortable balance Jupiter in the sky right now is exactly opposite that so what's going to be happening is you're probably too going to be <laughs> kind of tapping into more spiritual higher minded thoughts than you ever have <laughs> you know you're really like going to be much more open to expanding your mind to take in all sides and you know understanding where people are coming from and um, 
not judging so quickly. You're, there's going to be much more of an open-mindedness going on with you in that it's a higher way of thinking. You know, and that's what I say, like my, my father, who just died a couple days ago, but his mom was, oh my gosh, like she, not only was she like the most beautiful woman, both my grandmas are actually like drop-dead gorgeous women, but she was like, uh, as somebody was saying the other day, she was like a Jacqueline Ona Onassis, you know, just so distinguished and so composed and so just held herself, I mean, elegant and tall too, like, you know, six foot, just model, gorgeous, beautiful, and she was so non-judgmental. Like, I always just loved that about her. I mean, it didn't matter what you wore, what you did, anything. She was always just like anything you would say. Like there would never be like facial expressions that would give off that they really don't, you know, that they're judging you. Or so many people are so visual with that, you know. It's like, I don't approve of you. And, you know, when it's really like, how dare you, you know. But she didn't have an ounce of that, you know. She was just always had this just much more open mind. And, and whatever you would say, it'd be like, okay. I mean, I don't ever remember seeing any judgment on her face or any like, I think you should fit into my box, you know. She'd just be like, so she was a really, really, really amazing woman. And I look up to her. And that's kind of something that could be happening with you right now where you are gaining this higher position of just like not judging people for what they are. And... If you can um, come to this higher philosophical kind of position about life and kind of um, trust that this is the best way to be, and if you can also kind of put yourself in this position of an authority with this, um, and, and with that maybe it's just saying, I know that this is the way to be. I know we're supposed to accept people for whoever they are and just love them and give them love, you know. So by coming to that position of knowing this is the right thing to do, what it's going to do with these energies, it's, a, it's going to amplify your ability to communicate and share with people so it is this win-win going on. You know, so there's definitely a tie-in. Everything's really, like, you can really...